How to use Death Hunt CRM for beginners. Hi guys, today we're going to take a tour of Death Hunt CRM. First of all, what is Death Hunt CRM? Death Hunt CRM is a customer relationship management software that is designed to help business manager and their customer interactions and their relationship. It is cloud-based solution that allows users to store customer data, track communication with customers, automate sales and marketing process, and collaborate with team members. NetHot CRM integrates with popular email clients like Gmail and Outlook, which allows users to manage their customer communications directly from their email box inboxes. It also offers a variety of features such as contact management, lead tracking, sales automation, email tracking, and team collaboration tools. As you can see here in the home page, it says that CRM are for sales and marketing teams. NetHot CRM is a sales automation tool that helps you manage lead, nurture customer relationship, monitor sales, progress, and more closely. So to begin our tour, we're first going to click on Start Free Trial. This will redirect us to this sign up page where we can sign up with Google. I'm going to click on sign up with Google. After picking an account to connect with CRM, you, you would need to allow CRM to view your email messages and setting, add emails into your Gmail mailbox, manage drafts and send emails, see, edit, and create your Google Drive files, see and download your contacts. Now, you're, now we're going to click on allow. And then this will redirect us to the dashboard of NetHunt. As you can see, there's a lot of things on our screen right now. So we're going to tour them one by one. The first thing we're seeing right now are the folders. You can have your folders for your organization of emails. By clicking this three dots over here, we can see the settings for our folder and field management. And on the left end, we can click on create a new folder over here. It also gives us tips over here on the right side where it said that customizing field will affect the structure of all records in the folder. So you would need to be careful when you're handling the four folders of your NetHunt. We could also see more options for the specific folders by clicking on this three dots over here. We could create a campaign. We could copy the folder. We could import the data. We could export the folder. We could hide from navigation, show, show record count, and many more options. We could also drag the different folders to rearrange them by simply dragging and clicking them. Now going back to the dashboard, we have on the right side, we have teams and permissions. Over here, you can have, this is where you can see your team members and the permission of the team member. Now we're going to click on manage team. Now over here, we can see that the parent admin is me and that we can add more admins by inviting the user. In billing, on, in billing only, we can also add invite user over here. Now below here, we can add custom rules such as manager and whatever role we want to add by clicking on create a new role. Now we can click on the three dots and then we're going to click on manage permission. We could see the permission of the admin role over here where all the folder access is accessible. Its visibility is see all records. The permission are all checked and the special. And we have also task over here where we can see all the tasks. We can have a lot of permission and we can do a lot of things that only an admin can do. So when you create a custom role, make sure that you manage the permissions properly so that you would not have any issues in the future for your workplace. You can also rename the role by clicking on this rename role option over here where you can change the admin to creator or whatever name you want it to be. Oh, now over here on the top right, we can see that we could add widget to our dashboard. 
and the adjunct the widgets that we could add are the are folders, theme and permissions, subscriptions. You could also add reports like such as user activity, pipeline and goals and different tasks. When you look on the left side, we can see here that we have deals, my deals, pipeline, companies, contract, task, email campaign, workflows, reports, and chats. We're going to look at the deals over here. And then this folder, and this deal is the folder that we are seeing over here. The folders over on this widget over here are visible on the left side also. By clicking on the arrow, you can collapse the contents of the specific folders, such as the deal contains the my deal file and pipeline file. The company folder contains lead files and client files, and the contacts folder contains the my contact files. You can add co you can add contents by clicking on the specific folder and then clicking on new over here. You could import data or add a new record. You could also see the status of the, in the specific files over here. Like on NASA, they are a client status. NetHot, they're a partner status. And Google is a lead status. You could also see the lead source and the company size. There's also industry over here. Over here at the task, we can see we can, this is where we can control the different tasks we have at hand. We could select each task by clicking the button over here, which signifies and tells the system that the specific task is over. We could click on the three dots on the right side and we could select the task or we could delete the task. Now we can add task by simply clicking on the top right and then entering the information we want for the task. We could change the name, we could add the due date, we could change the priority from high, medium, and low. We could also add a description for our task and then to whomever you want to assign the task to. Now, that, now we're going to look at email campaigns. In email campaigns, we can see that there's no campaigns yet, but we can click on the new campaign. In this campaign, we would be able to add the name and then the folders that we want to interact with and the records. After creating a campaign name and then choosing the folders and records that you want, you can simply create the campaign. As you can see here, the contents are, be, are visible over here. And when you look at the right, you can see that the campaign owner is my name and that the records are three, the recipients are three, and more information over here. We could rename our campaign by clicking rename or we could delete it by clicking this and deleting it. Now the next thing we can look at are the workflows. In the workflow, the same thing with email campaign, we can create a new workflow and click continue. And then we could add a starting trigger like deal changes stages, new contact added, new record is added, field value changes, Webhook event occurs, web, web form is submitted. We're gonna see what happens when you click on deal changing stage. And then we're gonna click on deal, select a field, any, and save. So you can see, we have added a new block for our workflow. We could also click on reports and we would be able to see user activities and pipeline and time and stage. Now in settings, we can go to the preferences. We can change the system language from English to Espanol to other different language. You can also change the date format and the number format. You can control your notification, your email open tracking, your click tracking and your preview, your record on auto creation, the color theme, and many more. You could also deal with your account by over here. And we could see the data structure, like the folder field management, the save views, the data enrichment, duplication detector, 
import data and different tools we also have the option for the team and integrations and workplace and as you can see nethunt is a very vast tool that you can use for your emails and there's a lot of things over here so i recommend that you explore on your own and then try figuring it out on your own pace and Hope you were able to learn something from this video. So, and that's it guys. Thanks for watching.